Hello, everybody. Welcome back. It's Wednesday. What are you doing on Wednesday? I know most of you are thinking about that. So Monday, we do motivation video. Tuesday, video communication video. And on Wednesday, I thought, okay, let's do something interesting. And so every Wednesday, we're going to talk about some interesting facts. So in this video, we're going to talk about a browser. It's called TOR, TAR, which means the onion routing. Let's talk about that in detail. So when you're browsing the internet, have you felt that somebody is watching me? I know somebody is in the back tracing all my data. Have you felt that insecurity? Most of us do. So for that, the answer is through TAR. So this browser lets you to browse in the internet anonymously. So the other person does not know what you're doing. Huh. Is it interesting? OK, let's see what is TAR first of all. It was actually founded in 2002, September. This was a US Navy which has to browse and find some information or talk to each other without knowing what the other person, uh, without letting know the other person. Now, before we understand TAR, let's understand what happens when you generally browse. When you open a browser, Google or Internet Explorer or uh, any browser, say, you go and type www.google.com. And that in that request goes from your computer or your mobile phone, and then it reaches your internet service provider. It may be Atel or uh, Act or any broadband service. And then from there, it hits the actual server. The query then goes to Google or Facebook or whatever their location is. So that's the way. So from your computer to the actual internet service provider and then to the server. But with Tor, what happens from your computer when you type google.com, it doesn't. It goes to your internet service provider, and from there on, it won't reach the Google server directly. It won't reach the Facebook server directly. From there on, it will be routed to any other nearest computer or a node they call it. So from that node, the request will then be forwarded to another route, another node, and then from there to another node. Finally, when it hits the server, when it hits the Google server, that doesn't know who is requesting for this. So that way, you can browse anonymously. Is this really legal? Yes, in India, it is legal, and if you browse stuff that is legal yes it is legal if you browse illegal stuff when you uh, search for some words like bomb or kill or attack and police will come and knock your door soon so don't do that so if you want to so most of the uh, people who use store or the people who uh, work anonymously journalists who doesn't uh, want to know what they're browsing they go for tar and i've seen people who've using uh use tor for generally so down to download movies you know we have a lot of other stuff so there are three types of uh, internet or three layers of internet i would say the surface level where we actually see a google or uh, any search engine and then they have a deep site and that's called uh, the normal data where we have the actual data from where the google fetches and give it to us and there is something called dark site and that's where the actual internet that is a fact here. Whatever we surf on the internet, it's actually only one percentage of the data what we see. But there is 99 percentage in the dark side, which we don't, which we are not allowed to do. Or if you do it, um, I don't know if it's actually legal or not. Whenever uh, I go to the internet, I, I do search to the dark side, but I don't search for the illegal stuff. So as long as you're doing the right thing, no problem. There are countries which has actually banned Tor browser. Uh, recently, Turkey has banned it, and Israel, Iran, few other countries doesn't allow their uh, people to use Tor browser. But in India, it's illegal. It's legal to do it. So if you want to uh, explore the dark side, go ahead and try the Tor browser, but be safe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later with another interesting fact. Bye for now.